Recently, I did a video on how to make a combination listing for your Etsy shop that lists more than one product in a single listing, but still lets the orders sync with your Printify account. If you didn't see that video and it sounds interesting to you, I'll put a link to it up in the corner. So check that out for sure. But if you did see that video and you were curious how I made the template listing, the draft template in my Etsy store that I reuse multiple times every time I wanna make one of these combination listings, then check this video out because I'm gonna show you exactly how to create that template from scratch. Okay, so there's actually two ways that you can go about this. One is to create a draft listing in your Etsy shop that you copy and reuse every time you wanna create one of these combo listings. Or you can actually just copy an existing listing if you have one made. But I like to go the template route. It's a solution that I like for a lot of different reasons. So I'm gonna show you primarily that one. But just know that if you've already created a combination listing that has a lot of reusable stuff in it, that you can actually just copy one of the live listings and replace whatever you need to replace in it and kind of get to a pretty similar result that way. But let's talk about creating that template from scratch. So we're gonna go on our Etsy page. We're not starting in Printify at this point. We're just creating the draft of the template we're gonna use for a combination listing. So we're gonna go to our Etsy listings and we're gonna click on add a listing. We're gonna totally blank from scratch. Now, as far as mockups go, you need to have at least one in here so that it will save. But um, you do have a couple types of uh, mockup images that you would actually reuse if this was for a one of those combination listings where you're going to do like t-shirt, sweatshirt, hoodie in, in one listing. And that would be things like the size charts or the color charts that go with the products that you're offering. So I recommend uploading those as the images that are saved in your template, because that way you don't have to upload those every time you're adding a new listing. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is put something in here for your titles. Okay, we're gonna change our options here for who made it. We're gonna put another company. What it is is a finished product and it is made to order. So set those so you don't have to do it later. Category, um, I usually just put t-shirt in here and then just remember, you know, if, if you've got something that you think might sell more on one of the other items in the listing you can always change it but i usually just put t-shirt now for these other options they are <laughs> optional and in this case we're not going to use um, very many of them because all of the information about the product of variants we're offering is going to be down in the variants section and these options won't apply because we have so many different ones so we're going to skip most of them actually we're going to skip all of them because they don't apply to the template itself either so Renewal options, um, definitely set that one to manual. If you're wondering why I like to do manual instead of automatic, then watch the video that I just put up recently about this option and why I like the control that the manual choice gives me. I'll put a link to that up in the corner. It's probably in this corner, not that corner, this corner, okay. Um, for type, physical of course, and description. Here's where you're going to paste in the basic product descriptions or the things that you know you would be planning to use. Now you can put a bunch of things in here if you want this to be a really versatile template. And what I mean by basic is things like, um, you know, you have your descriptions that you get with the products you offer on Printify. So like this stuff right here that kind of just automatically comes into your listing descriptions. What you can do is you can just take those and have like a separate list uh, or a separate listing for each item in the description. And then I just repeat that for the t-shirt and the sweatshirt, but you can go in and put women's t-shirt, youth t-shirt, all of those things, and just delete what you don't want each time you create one of these listings. Um, and then just leave yourself some space at the top for your actual description of the design that you're you know, actually using the listing for. So leave some space up there. Select your print provider, Printify, and I usually don't select a section in the template. Um, it's optional. You can, you know, if you have a section that's relevant for these listings, you can put it there. Of course, tags, we don't do that in the template. We're gonna do that with the real listing. Um, now, this is where all of the work is really with creating this template. It's in the inventory, pricing, and variance section. Price, you can leave that blank because we're gonna uh, have a different price for the different items. Quantity, I'm just gonna change this to 9.99 right now because that's what I want it to be. And that's so that it automatically renews every time it sells. 
the skew here you don't have to put anything in because what we're going to do now is add our variation so click on add variations we are going to have to do this manually for the template but this will save you a lot of time if you're creating a bunch of these combination listings uh, because all you'll have to put in is the SKU numbers that match the products which is what i showed you how to do in that other video for combination listings this is the sort of the the prequel this is what you do first we're going to add two variations okay we're going to First, we're going to do um, a color variation, and then we are going to do a custom variation. So go way down to the bottom of the list and do create a new variation. And the second variation, we will call that um, item and size. You can call it whatever you want, but basically this is, this is going to be the second variation is the choice of product type and size in one. Okay, so color is first. Now the SKU numbers do vary by color, so you need to check that box that SKUs vary for each primary color, but the quantity and the prices don't vary by color, they vary by product and size. So select prices vary for each item and size, and SKUs vary for each item and size. So what this is gonna do, um, well, you'll see it in a second. Now we need to add the variants that we want. So under colors, go to add. Um, I also mentioned that I don't like to do more than three or four color options in these combo listings because it gets to be this really long list and too many choices for the customer. They kind of get analysis paralysis and leave without buying something. So I'm just gonna do black, white, and then if you don't see the colors you want, you can go to create a new option and then custom type in what you want. So I'm gonna put Heather Gray and Navy. So we've got four color options for each product. Make sure that all those color options are actually available for the products you're gonna offer, of course. Now, under item and size, we do have to manually put them all in here. So let's say we're doing um, t-shirt, sweatshirt, hoodie, like, like we started with. Um, you can save yourself a little bit of time with keyboard shortcuts here. So I'm gonna do unisex t-shirt, small. This is the first item. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the beginning part of this and do my copy on my keyboard before I add it. And then I hit enter and add it. Now I just paste, medium, enter. Paste, large, enter. Paste, extra large, enter. And you get the picture. So I do all my unisex t-shirt, small, medium, large, extra large. I usually go 2X and 3X. So do all of that. Okay, now we need to do the other product. So instead of unisex t-shirt, I'm gonna start over again and I'm gonna do sweatshirt, small. And again, I'm gonna save myself a little bit of time by copying the beginning part enter now i'm going to paste medium paste large we'll fast forward okay last item we'll put the hoodie sizes in then we're done okay we're done we got all of our we got our four color options we got all of our product and size combinations in there we do save and continue and now we're almost done there's one more thing to do here and that is we can enter our pricing now to save ourselves time later. But now you'll see what you have here is a nice table of uh, broken down by color and then the item and the size. So you're gonna have black in all the unisex t-shirt sizes, black in all the sweatshirt sizes, black in all the hoodie sizes, and then white, and then navy, and then heather gray. So now um, we just need to add our pricing because again, save us time later. And then we're just gonna leave the skew fields blank because that is what will change on every time we copy this listing you know for each new product we create the SKU number will be different and that's what we need to populate later so for prices again there's a little way to save yourself some time if uh, like me all your t-shirt sizes are the same price as long as they're small through um, extra large then you can select with these check boxes here and get up small through extra large and then scroll until you see white Again, small through extra large, scroll till you see the next color. All right, that's all the t-shirts that are size small through extra large. Now click on update price and I put in my price. I put in $19.99 because I usually list them for $19.99, put them on sale for 10% off. Now all of your t-shirts small through extra large are done. So they populated $19.99 in there. Now my prices on my 2X and 3X, I'm gonna do the same thing, go through and check them off, update the price. I do 21 or 22.99 for that. Then do the same thing for the sweatshirts and the hoodies until all your prices are populated, okay? Then once the prices are populated, you are basically done. You just need to select a shipping profile because it won't let you save without selecting one. So select whatever shipping profile you plan on using most frequently. 
and then you don't have to enter any of the rest of this information probably do maybe later as the default marketing option um, and then the, the important part here save as draft at the bottom always make sure you do save as draft so we're going to save this as a draft all right now we are on our listings page make sure when you go to the listings page you select draft over here let me move my head so you can see it it's right up here in this area on the right side um, make sure you've selected draft because that's where it will be saved and you can see now it's here this is our draft now when it's time to create one of those combo listings this is the important part if you just open this listing and make all of your edits and then publish it you lost the template not the end of the world because you can still copy a live active listing and just make changes to it every time you want like i said at the beginning but if you want to save just all of this nice template nice and clean um, then what you do every time you make a listing is go to this little settings uh, gear shape in the corner of the listing and you do copy that's the key that will keep this draft saved in here as a template for you you select copy and now you've got a new uh, listing to work with so that you're not replacing or editing the actual template draft that you have so now i would go in and, and do this for real and basically now is where the process begins that i covered in that other video about combo listings so i hope that was helpful i hope that's a good add-on to my other video about creating combination listings let me know if you still have any questions about the process thanks everybody see you next time